Indiana. Day no, four. Like and we're at Culver's. Hi, thank you for choosing Culver's. What can I get for you today? Hi, could I get a butter burger cheese? Yeah, would you like cheese on that? Yes, please. All right. Okay, so Derek swears that Culver's is better than In-N-Out. Better burger. In-N-Out has better fries. Unless you like crinkle cut. I, I don't really like crinkle cut. I do like... Wait, is that... Like the squiggly... Cut? Oh, yeah, I don't really like it. Yeah, me neither. But yeah, so he swears that this place is, has better burgers. But I feel like you can also find that in California. What? Like you can find a better burger <coughs> than In-N-Out. Mm, yeah. I like In-N-Out because of its fresh, like, buns. But, like, oh. it's not, like... The best burger I've ever had. Right. I do like the fries though. Honestly, it just looks like Del Taco. Okay, alright. That's what the restaurant looks like. It looks like a cane, but blue. So, this is a custard, like concrete mix. I don't know why they call it concrete, if I'm gonna be honest. But what is it? Is it just ice cream? Yeah. Uh, actually, it's... I don't know what the difference between ice cream and custard is, but... It's fucking thick. That's why I like that. Okay. It's just a McFlurry. Isn't but it? It's thicker? There is a different... A different taste to it. It's creamier, right? Yeah. It's just, yeah. Like, it doesn't taste like ice. Or no, it doesn't have the texture of ice cream. Yeah. It's more like, yeah, like a custard, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's a McFlurry. It's pretty good. Whatever. Yeah, I do like that the M&Ms are already mixed in. Because McDonald's McFlurry is usually like put the ice cream and then they just dump all the M&Ms in one spot right. on the top so you have to like mix it yourself and it's hard to mix because like the ice cream is really thick mm. and cold but they already mix it for you another observation mm. I forgot to say yesterday was that Indiana has a lot of like land for one house <laughs> Like I said yesterday that they just pick a spot of like an acre of land or like acres of land and then they just plop one house, nothing else. They don't build like shops around the house or like they don't put like multiple houses together. It's just, it, it kind of looks like that. They'll just have like one house and then huge like yard and backyard. And then you'll have like the next house like that. So, that was my observation from yesterday. I love analyzing different states. Anal. I'm gonna try this burger now. Is there mushrooms on it? Yeah, that's Swiss, yeah. Ooh, it smells like, um, uh, what's that? What's that burger place? I don't know, Mama. Uh, Farmers. The Umami Burger, I think. That's probably not right. Oh, actually, these are really good. Yeah, I like those fries. They're pretty good. They're usually not the salty. <laughs> what? Oh, yikes. There's a hair on it. Flag number one. Okay. That was right. I didn't even open it yet. Oh my god. You know how many hairs you've eaten just. What is this? What is this? It smells like Denny's. Water. This is a Denny's burger. This is a Denny's burger. Okay. Let's taste it. That's a fucking Denny's burger. This is what they look like. This is what they taste like. I used to eat this in high school. 
Is it really Desert Berry? This is a Denny's burger. And it now cannot compare. No, this is mine. Taste it. Oh. That's why I always get this one. It is good though. I'm not like knocking it. Like it, it actually is really good. But if you want to know what cold brews taste like, just go to Denny's. It does not taste like Denny's burger. Have you tried a, a Denny's burger? No, I'm more of a Bob Evans guy. Have you tasted it? No. Have you tasted it? Okay. I don't, I don't, yeah. I'm going to take you to Denny's and I'm going to show you that it's the exact same thing. Okay. There's no way. There's no way. Stop. It's not. Zoom in on your mouth. It's a professional input. It is good though. I like. The bun is really soft. And the meat doesn't look like it's been frozen and just reheated like McDonald's. Looks pretty fresh. It's very savory. I love being a food reviewer. Oh my god, you are. I'm gonna change the channel to just for food reviews. So what makes you like this one more? Did you eat this all the time? Mm-hmm. This is my burrito junior. Mm -hmm. False. You're no, this is not my burrito junior. This is this is my Jimmy's. What he means by that is that it's just a food place that he regularly goes to, and he knows that it won't fail because the food is good. So that's just what he means. But all right, thank you for listening to my burger with you. I would rate this burger eight out of ten. So we are at Steak and Shake and Jess has some news for you guys. So Steak and Shake is probably better than in and out In my opinion, like not better than, like Culver's isn't. I think Steak and Shake is more close. Cheese! Yeah, I'm not saying it is better, but it's like close. It's what it looks like. Because it, it looks like in and out So I feel like this, this would be the comparison. But you just said it was better than In-N-Out, right? I did not say Oh my gosh, you did. I said it was close to being good. Good shit on Californians. And 50 seconds.
Bye.